Oklo Inc. is a next-generation nuclear company developing small, advanced fission reactors called Aurora Powerhouses. These compact plants use fast-spectrum technology and HALEU fuel, even recycled nuclear waste, to deliver 24 7 clean power to data centers, grids, and remote areas. Oklo's microreactors run up to 20 years without refueling, offering a low-maintenance, scalable solution. Unlike massive nuclear facilities, Aurora reactors use heat pipes and solid-state components, making them safer and easier to deploy. Oklo recently increased planned output from 50 MW to 75 MW to meet surging demand from data centers without redesigning core systems. Data centers are electricity hungry, and Oklo aims to be their go-to provider. In 2024, Oklo signed a massive 12 gigawatts non-binding agreement with switch to power AI and cloud data centers. Equinix, another giant, made a $25 million deposit for up to 500. MW Oklo also signed agreements totaling over 14 gigawatts of potential demand, including partnerships with Wyoming Hyperscale, R Power, and others. Diamondback Energy plans to use Oklo's reactors to power oil operations, while Centris Energy Corp. will supply H, A, L, E, U fuel and host two Aurora units on site, to risking fuel and manufacturing while aligning Oklo with key players. The U.S. Department of Energy granted Oklo a site at Idaho National Lab and five metric tons of H, a L E U and also approved a facility to recycle spent fuel from the E B R I <laughs> reactor into new fuel. A world first. Oklo expects its first reactor to live by 2027. DOE support has included gain vouchers, A R P A E funding, and a tentative $100 million U.S. Air Force deal. Co-founded by Jacob DeWitt and Caroline Cochran, Oklo has Silicon Valley DNA including early investment and a SPAC merger led by OpenAI's Sam Altman. Their team submitted the first non-light water reactor license to the NRC and has learned from every hurdle. In 2024, Oklo secured $306 million via its merger with Alt-C Acquisition Corp., supporting hiring, design, and early construction. With LOIs in place, Oklo could fund future bills through customer deposits or financing deals, reducing dilution risk. However, key risks remain. In 2022, the NRC denied Oklo's first application, citing safety info gaps. A second attempt is underway, but delays are likely. And without a license, Oklo can't operate. No reactors are online yet, and engineering challenges, cost overruns, and first-of-a-kind risks persist. Oklo carries all execution risk as both operator and builder. Competition is fierce USNC. Westinghouse, New Scale, and TerraPower are developing similar reactors. Oklo lost its tentative Air Force deal when rivals protested. Most contracts are non-binding, and customers could pivot. Stock volatility is high. Shares dropped 50% on debut, later spiked to $29, then fell again. Losses totaled $73.6 million in 2024, and cash burn continues. Fuel supply is also a concern. H A L E U is limited, and delays from Centris or others could bottleneck deployments. Long-term operations will demand nuclear safety expertise and waste handling solutions. Not easy for a startup. In short, Oklo could become the Tesla of nuclear energy, delivering clean power to AI and cloud infrastructure. But high reward comes with high risk. Licensing, competition, execution, and volatility could derail momentum. So, will Oklo change the energy game or melt under the pressure? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you're excited about clean tech, energy, and AI, hit that like button, subscribe to Risk to Reward, and stay tuned for more deep dives.